Okay. 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 I'm here with Helena Norberg Hodge, who I think is like a goddess of relocalization. You're an icon in this. You've been working on it for 35 years. And you're a huge inspiration, uh, certainly to me and lots of other permaculture designers. Please let us know what what is your uh, what what drives you in all this. What's your big passion, and especially now, what's been changing or whatever you want to tell us. Well, my big passion is trying to get the word out that there is another way of doing things. There is another way of living mm. that is still mm. possible on this crowded, polluted planet. There is a systemic shift that could make all the difference, all the difference in reviving and revitalizing both ecological and human well-being. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is what I call localization. It is very, very close to permaculture because it is about reconnecting to the land. It's about reconnecting to each other. So it's very important, I think, that we have this holistic vision mm -hmm. of a pattern, a pattern, a systemic path that restores both the great diversity and flourishing of everything that lives, including human beings as part of that living world. I became passionate about this because I was able to live in parts of the world where people were living so much closer to each other and to nature. Mm -hmm. And they were clearly so much happier than the people that I saw as the polar opposite. And they were people, even in my native country of Sweden, who were living in high-rise apartments, you know, far removed from the living world and so isolated from each other. Mm -hmm. Very often, you know, in Stockholm already 30 years ago, more than half of all the dwellings, there was one person living alone. And studies found that even having a goldfish could actually prolong their life and improve their happiness. Uh -huh. And so this whole pattern became so clear to me that we need to reconnect with life. Yes. And that means rebuilding the community fabric and rebuilding our deeper connections to the soil, to the air, to the water, and what I found is, and what makes me even more passionate about this, is that in the Western industrialized parts of the world, a lot of people have gone through the path of high pressure, competitive, you know, urban uh, economic structures. They have finding that they really are not happy. They don't find that satisfying. And when they're lucky enough to come in contact with something like permaculture or a culture like Ladakh or Bhutan or rural parts of Spain and Italy, when they have the experience of living in a different way, mm -hmm. they actually start reconnecting. The little light inside of them mm. starts brightening. And so there is a whole movement, what I often call an ancient futures trend, which is where we are rediscovering our deep connections to each other and to the land. And it can sound, you know, a bit uh, fluffy and a bit uh, maybe exaggerated, but what really makes me happy is seeing that, for instance, today in America, the number of farms has actually increased. This is after over a 100 years right. of a path of where the economic pressures were pushing every farmer to either merge or die, become bigger and more industrial, mm -hmm. use more you know, patented chemicals and hybrid seeds and machinery to become a big industrial farm. And all of that was killing the soil. It was killing their soul yes. as well. And now, as people have discovered the joy of more diversified growing, how different the work is, how the soil flourishes, how they flourish, there is a movement towards more small farms, and it's very much part of the localization movement. And there's this wonderful coming together of permaculture and farming. Uh -huh. I believe the way forward is 
essentially about figuring out how we can get the word out so that more people start joining in into these movements. And even if they are living in the biggest cities and the big high-rise buildings, they can still connect with yes. life from where they are. Yes. And, and I think these connections... Uh, are needed, you know, very soon, because if not, you can see that the depression, the unemployment, the gap between rich and poor, the loss of democracy is so depressing to people that it's uh, virtually killing them. Yes. So it's vital that we do what we can, not only to do the practical work on the land, but that we put more effort into what I call, you know, education as activism. Yes. Getting the word out, yes. getting the images, you know, the actual pictures of what's already happening in these movements that are about reconnecting to the land and reconnecting to community. The work of spreading the word requires a sort of urban, it requires that we make use of the computers, and I don't recommend that anyone should do that full time, but I do yes. try to encourage people to spend some of their time doing that. Yes. And another key thing for me, another thing I'm passionate about, is that we should change the I to a we. Yes. I have found that encouraging people to reconnect or to connect with some like-minded people where they live maybe from their workplace, maybe neighbors, maybe not neighbors, just people in reach. Uh -huh. Find like-minded souls mm. and put your efforts in connection mm -hmm. with It makes it much more fun. It makes it much more um, doable because you can have a much bigger vision when you say, what can we do yes. as opposed to what can I do in my isolation? Well, we're really delighted to have you in our big we for this 24 hours of uh, uh, celebrating permaculture all over the world. And uh, thank you so much. We'll, um, we'll have you launching this. Okay. It was so inspiring. Thank and thank you thank so you. much for your amazing work. And um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I also want to say a special thanks to my friend David Holmgren, who is one of my great heroes. Okay. We'll have him on as well. Uh, so, All yeah. wonderful people around the world who are involved in permaculture. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for being a huge inspiration. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.